Hello, my name is Tomasz Tiaszek, and in this video I will talk about a solution to the Year of the Tiger challenge powered by Codility. In this challenge we are giving a row of towers. Each tower is made of three colored blocks and is described by a three-letter string. For each tower we can either leave it as it is, or swap its two top blocks, or swap its two bottom blocks. And by doing this we want to achieve as many towers that look the same as possible. Let's look at an example. Here we have five towers which look differently except for the third and the fourth tower which look the same. Therefore, if we don't make any swaps, the biggest set of equal towers is of size 2. Another way to obtain two equal towers is by considering the second and the fifth tower. Although they are different, we can swap the bottom two blocks in one of them to make them equal. However, the biggest possible answer can be obtained by making swaps in the first, the third and the fourth tower. In the first one we need to swap the top blocks and in the remaining ones the bottom blocks. So the answer to this example is 3. The possible algorithm for this problem could be divided into two parts. First, we could generate some candidates for the final towers. For instance, in our example, our final tower was ABA. And in the second part, for each candidate, we could count how many towers look like this candidate or can be swapped to look like it. Of course, the question is how many candidates we need to generate to cover all possible final towers and what is the cost of testing one candidate? Well, since each final tower is obtained from input towers possibly by swapping, that means that we have at most 3n candidates. Because we have n towers in the input and for each of them we have 3 possibilities – no swaps, bottom swap or top swap. With the same argument we show that for each candidate we need to make 3n tests. Because for every tower in the input we check if this tower or one of its swaps is equal to the candidate. Therefore, we are ready for implementation of a simple n-squared algorithm. First, we make a variable for storing the best answer, and then we'll make two nested loops to iterate over all candidates. In the outer loop, we'll iterate over all towers from the input, and in the inner loop, we'll iterate over all possible swaps for a single tower. Next, for each candidate, we'll calculate how many towers from the input can be changed to it. We'll use sum on least comprehension, so we'll add 1 for every tower in the input, uh, which satisfies a certain condition. Namely, the candidate tower must be possible to obtain by making a swap on this input tower. After that, we can update our answer, and at the end of the program, we just return it. Of course, we also need to implement the function swaps, which, given a certain tower, returns the set of towers that can be obtained from it. This set contains tower t, because we can choose not to make any swaps. The tower after swapping the top two elements, and the tower after swapping the bottom two elements. Okay, we can run this code and it passes example test cases. However, when judged by codility, it will get full points for correctness, but unfortunately not for performance, because n squared solution is too slow. Let's speed up the counting process for a fixed candidate. For each tower in the input, we test whether we can swap it in order to obtain the candidate. But observe that this is the same as testing whether the candidate can be swapped to achieve a certain tower in the input. Therefore, for each three possibilities of swapping the candidate, we need to count how many towers of this kind are in the input. And this can be done with a simple preprocessing on a hash map. So instead of checking whether S can be swapped to obtain the candidate, we can check whether the candidate can be swapped to obtain the S. So the iteration over T can be replaced by just counting the occurrences of S and T, and this can be replaced by a hash map in which we'll calculate the occurrences. For this hash map we'll use um, default dict, 
and we will iterate over all towers in the input and increase the number of occurrences of this tower in the hash map. We import default dict from collections and the program is ready to run. So now in algorithm we have additional preprocessing on a hash map that takes linear time and then for the linear number of candidates we have a test in constant time. So the overall complexity of this algorithm is linear in the size of the input and this program gets full points for correctness and performance. However, this program can be solved using even simpler implementation. We can merge the preprocessing step with generating the candidates and for each tower in the input, iterate over its swaps and increase the occurrences in the hash map for each swap. Therefore, after this iteration, the hash map will contain all possible candidates, each with correctly calculated count. So in the preprocessing, we'll iterate over all towers from the input and over all swaps of these towers. And we will increase the occurrence in the hash map for each swap. And as the answer, we'll just return the maximal count among all counts in the hash map. Therefore, we no longer need this variable. And this simple code will get full points for performance and correctness when tested by Codility servers.